Threaded chain stitch. I know two ways how to make threaded chain stitch. The top one is working on a row of lazy daisies, this stitch also known as detached chain stitch. And the bottom one is work on the row of regular chain stitch and I whip it, it only once. But you can make a second row of threaded if you want. Ok, let's stitch the first version. Work on the foundation row of lazy daisies, leave a space between those stitches. If you want to refresh your knowledge about lazy daisies, you can watch this video. And then using a different thread, bring your needle up in the middle of the first detached chain stitch. To start the threading, pass the needle under one side of chain stitch, continue by sliding the needle under the second chain stitch. Remember that your needle shouldn't split the fabric or thread during this threading. Now slide the needle under the third detached chain stitch. Continue passing the thread back and forth under the lazy daisies. A second thread can be worked from the same straight point to slide the needle under one side of the first chain stitch and then pass the needle under the second chain stitch. Work the second thread alternately back and forth. The second thread will fill the spaces between the first threading so that the stitch is symmetrical. And the second version is worked on the foundation of a regular chain stitch. You can watch this video and refresh your knowledge. Just slide under the each of the chain stitches from one side to another. You can do this threading only one time or add one more threading for symmetry. The foundation row can be worked in a different thread or color. I like to use contrasting colors to bring some interest. I hope you enjoy experimenting with this stitch. Let me know in the comment if you like it, this stitch. And please share where did you use it. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like that. In my next video, I will be talking about all the rest chain stitch variations and you will probably learn more stitches with me. If you want to stitch this sampler too, I have many samplers like that available on my Patreon. You can also find some PDFs with such samplers on my Etsy shop. All the links in the video description below. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!